Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how you can calculate the sea current drag force on the cylinder of an offshore wind turbine. Before we start, I would like to ask you, if you find this video useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's start! If a cylinder of length L is installed vertically, then in addition to the wave loading, there is sea current loading. Let's consider steady sea current and direction of travel is from left to right. We have a vertically installed cylinder on the seabed. For example, it could be a cylinder of an offshore wind turbine with diameter D and the length of the cylinder from the seabed to the seawater level L. We have steady sea current, therefore no inertia force contribution from the sea current. But the sea current gives additional drag force. Therefore, the drag force on the cylinder includes two components, wave-induced drag plus sea current drag. And this can be estimated using standard equation. Well, in this equation, V with index W is instantaneous water particle velocity under wave, and also V with index C is the steady current velocity. I would like to highlight that wave induced should also include a wave induced inertia force but because in this example i only consider drag force i do not show wave induced inertia force term in this equation practical example where we need to calculate the sea current drag force on the cylinder of an offshore wind turbine for a steady current with velocity of 0.8 meters per second at the water surface decaying approximately linearly to zero at a depth of 50 meters. Diameter of the cylinder is 0.3 meter. And the vertical axis is defined as Z, and you know the origin is from the water surface. Therefore, I show the depth here minus 50 because it's negative. From previous slide, we know that the drag force has two components, wave-induced drag force and the current drag force. But because in this problem we are asked to calculate the sea current drag force only, I can ignore the first term because we are not asked to calculate it in this problem. Therefore, the sea current drag force is the second term of this equation and estimated as 0.5 multiplied by fluid de density multiplied by drag coefficient which is given 1.5 multiplied by frontal projected area and also multiplied by the steady current velocity Vc. Let's solve this. Velocity is changing from 0.8 at the sea surface to 0 at a depth of 50 meters to calculate the sea current drag force, we would need to do integration. And for this, we would need velocity profile. Using data given in a problem, we can write velocity profile as follows. We know that velocity is equal to 0.8 when z is equal to 0, and then velocity is equal to 0 when z is equal to minus 50. We also know that velocity is decaying linearly. Therefore, we can write the sea current velocity profile as follows. Velocity of the sea current is equal coefficient of 0 0.016 multiplied by z plus 0.8. Let's check if this would satisfy those conditions. When z is equal to 0, which is the water surface, the sea current velocity would be equal to 0.8, as is given in the problem. When z is equal to minus 50, if we calculate 0 0.016 multiplied by minus 50 and plus 0.8, we will have velocity equal to 0. Therefore, we will use this velocity profile to do integration to calculate the sea current drag force. Let's write, because for drag force we will need velocity in power 2, therefore 
the expression on the right hand side we can take this in power 2 and using standard equation when we have ax plus b in power 2 we will use this expression to represent our current velocity as shown on this slide so current velocity in power 2 would be equal coefficient multiplied by z in power 2 plus another coefficient multiplied by z and plus the free term which is 0.64 and now to calculate the c current drag force we'll do integration and we will use this expression know that the c current drag force is estimated using this general equation therefore by substituting this current velocity into this equation we would be able to calculate the c current drag force therefore what do we do we calculate the drag force and we do integration and under the integral we have the c current velocity in power 2 and we do integration over dz or we do integration from zero from the water surface up to the depth which is 50 meters so substituting under the integral substituting expression from previous slide we get the following expression so this is just under integral we have uh, expression which is our uh, current velocity in power 2 and dz and now because these are all power functions we can take this integral easily again the c current drag force equations from previous slide now i will do integration as you know this is my power function z in power 2 and this is just a coefficient and this is z in power 1 and this is just a coefficient and you know that integral z in power 2 would be equal z in power 3 divided by 3 and integral of z would be equal z in power 2 divided by 2 and the coefficient also remains therefore we take integral of all these three terms and this we need now to do to do calculations from zero at the sea surface to minus 50 which is at this location where velocity is equal to zero and by calculating this we know that first we substitute zero and then minus each term we substitute minus 50 therefore because zero if you all the values will be zero here in brackets will have zero therefore it will be zero therefore only one term is left when z is equal minus 50 and this is what i write here minus 15 power 3 minus 15 power 2 and here is minus 50. if you do calculations of all these expressions you will get that the drag force generated by the sea current should be equal 2.46 kilonewtons this is how you would calculate the sea current drag force for steady sea current thank you very much goodbye